here's a uh, map of downtown Candy. The dominant thing is the Bogambara Lake. I thought it was Candy Lake, but it's not. There's a head down that way in search of the railway station. It's always good to be searching for something because then you get to see something. Most sources do refer to it as Candy Lake. In retrospect, I had the privilege of doing a three-week discovery tour in Sri Lanka. As I look back on it, I can't believe it, but yes, I was there. It started in Colombo. Then we headed, I say we, car and driver. Vlog number seven in the Sri Lanka playlist, How to Travel in Sri Lanka, contains more information about car and driver. If you're interested, have a look. To Anuradhapura, the ancient kingdom of Sri Lanka, the basis of Buddhism. We then went to Sigriya, Sigriya Rock, where I did that historic jump. Then to Palanarua, the second kingdom of Sri Lanka. And in today's vlog, Kandy, the second biggest city in Sri Lanka. Kandy, what an unusual name. You're viewing Travels with Lobo, a three-week discovery tour of Sri Lanka. Thank you for joining me. Vlog number 17, this time from beautiful Kandy. In this vlog, I'll be covering panoramic views of Kandy, Kandy Lake, the Queen's Hotel, my transition to a new driver, and the Vino Villa Hotel. You can scrub along the timeline to any topic that might interest you. Kandy, probably uh, the prettiest place in prettiest city in Sri Lanka as I look at uh, Candy Lake today I walked up to the Buddha statue that was about a one-hour walk so lovely view of downtown Candy the larger white building is the Queen's Hotel the lake and uh, at the end of the lake my hotel so this, in essence, is the beauty of candy, as seen from the Buddha statue. Every uh, city should have a lake like this, but not every city has, obviously. Lots of uh, wealthy people live up in the hills in my neighborhood. There's a doctor who owns a big house right beside our hotel. And right there is where I was last night at the temple of the Turn right on to Raja P. Hill in Iwatha. Okay, I'll turn right. That reminds me of the importance of getting a SIM card. Uh, this is the first country I came to where I had a SIM card right from the airport and it allowed me to use Google Maps and it was a real game changer. For more about SIM cards and other important information, see vlog number one in the Sri Lanka playlist, Three Week Explorer. What you need to know. Yes, last night I was at the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic, a Buddhist temple that is the number one attraction in Sri Lanka. Imagine a tooth of the Buddha in this temple. This mega attraction makes it the cultural capital of Sri Lanka. In Kandy, the view towards downtown is over there. That is the Historical Queen's Hotel, all that white building right there. This is the lake, the famous lake that makes candy really something special along with the hills that surround the lake. And this is a, hi guys, a beautiful promenade. And uh, every evening I walk along this side of the lake here it's a walkway all the way out to my hotel. Really nice, takes about half an hour. So I, now I'm in search of the prison. I understand the prison has been converted into a hotel. The lake, in fact, is an artificial lake built in 1807 by King Sri Wikrama Raja Singhe. Kandy is a city that gives easy access to Sri Lanka's hill country that is carpeted with the world-famous Ceylon tea plantations and the nearby Knuckles Mountain Range. What a name, Knuckles Mountain Range. If you're traveling independently, and I wasn't because I was with car and driver and hotel, I would advise you to stay at the Hotel Queens, right in downtown 
Candy. It's so convenient. And why not splurge at least once? I'm in the lobby uh, of the Queen's Hotel. Quite a By the way, there's the dining room, the Queen's Hotel. It's an excellent dining room. I should have probably eaten there since, uh, since, uh, since I was only there a couple of days. But I didn't. I ate next door, as you'll see later in this vlog. Landmark. And uh, I see the uh, staff has some extra time in their hands. Can't imagine what they're doing here. Supervisor here. Doing a great job. Spectacular view over Candy, and this is a new day. This is a Thursday. Don't know the date, maybe the 17th. And today we have a new driver. A new driver. And uh, who is that new driver? I'm Pravindu. You are? I'm Pravindu. Okay. So that is how I met my new driver, Ravindu, who would take me from Candy to the end of my trip in the south of Sri Lanka. The, the uh, former driver had a personal personal crisis, uh, so we have to change drivers. In beautiful candy, and uh, due to unfortunate circumstances, I have to say goodbye to my driver. My driver was uh, Sampath, Sampath, and uh, he did an excellent job uh, taking me through a good part of uh, Sri Lanka. Sampath, thank you very much. And now, Sampath had spent two years in uh, Saudi Arabia, and his English was uh, quite good. His driving skills were excellent, although I felt at the end he was driving a bit too aggressively. Ravindu, on the other hand, had limited uh, English skills, but still manageable. Uh, and his driving was, well, I felt secure throughout. Didn't drive aggressively. That was nice. There is Ravindu, my new driver, Sampath, my old driver and Sampath back at the railway station in Colombo, the boss, so to speak. See Vlog 7, How to Travel in Sri Lanka. Now, interestingly enough, all three lived in the beautiful city of Kandy. Well, if I was living in Sri Lanka, maybe I'd choose Kandy too. But maybe on third thought, I would go for Gaul, G-A-L-L-E, -L -L -E, in the south of Sri Lanka. You'll see that soon. So my stay at the Vino Villa in, uh, in Kandy, Yes. Was in this beautiful area. Yeah. This is the view from my uh, from the balcony, and yeah. this is where I had breakfast. Yes. And I had nice chats with this yeah. gentleman here. Yes, thank uh, you. Uh, sir, your name is Sergiva. Sergiva. Yes. And you're the manager here. Yes, sir. Well, and uh, I just want to say it's a very friendly staff here. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, you were very, uh, very hospitable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, spending time talking with with me. And, yeah. Uh, so it's a it's a pleasure to have been here. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Okay. And right. I hope to see you once again. Soon. <laughs> yes. Sir. Yeah. Be Thank sure to come you. back here. Yes. Sir. And uh, if you're traveling to uh, Candy, yes. uh, this is a good place to stay because. Uh, it's about a half hour walk to downtown Candy, but it's the most beautiful walk along Candy Lake. So, yeah. and you walk right by the Temple of yes. the uh, Candy Tooth Palace, Maligawa. Yes, right. That's the, the biggest thing here yes, in town, yes. right? Yeah, well, right. Well, so, yes. Uh, okay. Thank okay, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. As you can see on the map, uh, very close to the lake and close to downtown, half an hour's walk, and I felt safe even walking back late at night. The rooms were charming, and I happened to have uh, a room with one of those little balconies overlooking candy. How nice. Thank you so much for viewing, and uh, we will see you next Friday, where I will be exploring more of this beautiful city of candy. Candy, yes, candy. It's a lovely place full of architecture, mystique, history, and next week, beautiful markets.